Is this your sport car? This is my sport car. <laughs> Tonight on, what are we calling this? The slip angle. I mean, it's the slip <laughs> angle, but like, what's this segment? Um, Fixing my tuner car, RX-7. Brap, brap. Rotary life, son. So last week we made some progress. We fished those pesky bolts out of the body, which is wonderful. I won't hear those clanking around anymore. Yeah, one of those little things, it's like, it's such a pain to get it done. Although it wouldn't have been as bad if we known exactly where they were. It's all a learning experience, yeah. but I, I was gonna take the fenders off for this project anyways. I guess we didn't have to take the wheel liners out. Yeah, but like for the, the clearance and stuff and not having to worry about dropping like your turbo on the fender. Well, that's what I'm saying, like yeah. fenders off for sure. Yeah. So tonight we're gonna get into the meat and potatoes mm -hmm. of this project. And we are going to remove my Garrett TO4S with TO, or no, 57 trim, which I think is a TO4E compressor housing cover in preparation to put the full on TO4S compressor cover on it. And also we're going to have to modify the, what do they call this, the charge pipe? Yeah. The one that's right off of the Yeah, the charge pipe housing, to the intercooler. Which we'll show you once we get this all off, but this narrows down over here to meet the same size as the, uh, the 57 trim cover. So we'll, we'll show you guys a back to back difference. And I already went into my theory on why this was an issue, was, or I guess for those just tuning in. I was never able to boost more than 15, 16 PSI with this setup. I uh, have a Gretti Profrec B. I have the stiffest wastegate spring you can put in there, the red one. Uh, doesn't matter what you do. You could pull the vacuum hose off of the wastegate, it still boosts the same. We even took the cover off of the wastegate and just kind of left it open to see like what it would do. It built like 11, 12 PSI. I want to boost more, but what, our, what we think is, is that the smaller 57 trim cover volumizes too quickly and it can't, it just can't get the air out in time, which is ultimately slowing the compressor wheel down. It's wild. This is like stuff that I don't think anybody's ever encountered. Maybe they have, or maybe they just didn't care and never say anything about it, but um, the outlet of the full on TO4S is considerably bigger. And again, we'll show you that shortly when we get everything off. So we're going to a full on TO4S. Um, this car with this cover at 15, 16 pounds of boost made 417 at the wheels. I want to say that was uncorrected though. And it was really cold out. I think corrected was like around 402 and 328 pound feet of torque somewhere in that vicinity. What's Which the RPM with where that torque is? Do you remember? I'm just curious because I don't really know I like the characteristics of a probably rotor. around 7, 7,500. After oh, 7,500 wow. power starts to taper off a little bit. Yeah. But again, like that could just be the, the turbo, like dialing back boost, right? Yeah. We all know that as you get closer to like a high red line like that. A lot of yeah, it's one of, the, like one of the issues with turbocharged cars. Right. So, I mean, this may fix that. This may like completely change the power band, which would be wonderful. Um, this shouldn't be too painful, hopefully. This is a water-cooled Garrett. So we have some coolant lines going to the turbo, but it's going to be the coolant line, oil drain, oil feed. Now, I already disconnected the downpipe from the midpipe. And if I remember correctly, I can pull this whole assembly out with the Grady Type R wastegate, which is rerouted into the downpipe. Cause I don't, I'm not about that open wastegate. No, screamer. Fuck boy life, son. <laughs> So that's it, it. It's cool, but I think I'd get annoyed of it like almost immediately. Have you been in an open wastegate car? Yes, I have. I've been open downpipe turbo car. Open downpipe turbo K series. <laughs> it like hemorrhages your brain. Yeah. Remember Steve with the neon? Yeah. I started to neon, he did one like bigger turbo with open wastegate. And it's just like like going up a hill, like just not even trying oh, to like yeah. work. Like once you just, once the wastegate starts to open, it's just like, uh, I'm like, I, this is terrible. I can't do yeah. this. So we're gonna dive in here and that's gonna be tonight's project is getting the turbo out of the car. Cool. Let's do it. Let's get started. So 
So I couldn't clear the top left exhaust stud. And I remember I pulled it all out years ago when I blew the, turb the seal in the center of the shaft. But when I took the nuts off, it took the top left stud with it. And that's probably why I was able to clear it. So I just used two the nuts. Double nut. I don't know if you can see in here. I did the double nut. Yeah, double nut on the back, the rear top one. Correct. Yep. And now the whole stud is loose. Yep, so he's just backing up that stud. So we'll be able to clock it um, counterclockwise the way you're well, facing it. That's just the one. I can clear all the other studs. It's just when I come off, I'm hitting the um, wastegate pipe and the, uh, the, the exhaust housing up against the body of the car. Yeah, so you can clear the, the front one, but then when he goes to rotate it, it's getting stuck on the on that rear top one. Correct. No, it's <laughs> here, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh, Why sorry. Why are you cussing? <laughs> so you could just beat the wall that, and then you could have it. Oh, here we go. I don't have enough clearance to get the wrench out. Oh no, I hate that. Oh no. There it is. There's the study. Look at that. Who's the stud, Matthew? That is. Who's the stud? <laughs> Look at this. Time has come. It's still stuck. All right. Here's where it becomes like Tetris almost. But reverse. A few moments later. Like you gotta look like at every spot where it's dragging. Oh wait, this might be it. Come on. Oh. Oh, she's free. Almost. <laughs> Caught in these hoses here. Damn hose. One eternity later. There she is. Finally. Here is the old 57 trim compressor cover. And here's the TO4S. Quite the difference. Yeah, just like the inlet size is huge difference. I wonder if it's gonna be an issue. I don't have that vacuum guy there. That vacuum nipple. I mean, that goes to the wastegate, right? Yeah. Or the boost control, one of them. Wastegate or boost control. Oh yeah, it goes to your, it, the boost control interrupts that to the wastegate. This thing's gonna boost wastegate. It's gonna be like 21 PSI. Yeah, gotta get a bigger filter. It's gonna be like 500 hertz purrs. Oh yeah, I do gotta get fucked. I can get all different things. I need a new silicone elbow. We got a chop. Where's that showed? Like what the blue elbow? The blue thing? My. Oh, the my thing. Oh, it's over there. My impressively welded, TIG welded aluminum charge pipe. It's rookie hour. <laughs> this is gonna get chopped and. Oh, so there's the. Is that, is that the same as this? Yeah. yeah. So th this has got to get modified. You can see how we shrunk it down. Yep. The TO for us is basically this. Yeah. I shouldn't say this is impressive. I mean, this is impressive. I can't do this. Karen did that. It's not the cleanest. It's not a Derek weld. Right? Yeah. But it's still pretty darn good. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's really it for today. We're going to figure out how we got to mount this. See what modifications we have to make. Yep. Look at that. That's the way it was. You don't need to, to do, do a new backing plate? Oh yeah, I do need a new backing plate. Yeah, because I was gonna say that that's not gonna seal. That's right. Much. And for that, kids, it's over. It's in the other box. I bought a billet aluminum backing plate. We're not gonna. I'm gonna wait for Karen to take this apart. Yeah. I trust him more than me. That's his jam. Is taking turbos apart. Wrong way. Look at that. That's nice looking. I don't even think it needs a gasket. I think it just seals. Usually they have little gaskets that just sit in this little... I know, but like when I was trying to actually find the gasket for the TO4S, I couldn't find one. So I think... Wow, isn't that, isn't that interesting? This one has a bigger yeah. cover. 
But if you look at the way the lips it's are it's though. It's the volume inside here that's gonna be greater in that one. Look at the lip difference. There's like nothing. And there's a lot more on this one. I yep. think that's why that has that rubber ring. Yeah, I'm pretty, don't, you know, don't laugh at me, internet, if I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure you don't need one. You're not allowed to be wrong. If you're on YouTube, you have to be right. You know what? I reserve the right to change my mind. So this will be for the next segment because we need the, the wizard himself to come by. I think that's it for tonight. Yeah, I think so. So once the turbo stuff is straightened out, this may get put aside while we work on other things in the meantime. We gotta start doing the fuel pump and the holly. Yep. Fuel map pickup system. And then we're that much closer to having Project Dark 7 back on the road. I'm trying to think what else I'm gonna have to do for this. I gotta retune. Yep. This is gonna change everything. Mm -hmm. I think it's gonna do like 450 wheel. It should. I mean, how, how many PSI were you running before at 417? It, I mean, like max boost was like 15, 16, and fourth, fifth, but like, you know, by red line, that tapers off. And what, what PSI do you want to run? 20, 21. Okay. I mean, like, I don't want to melt it. These things, like, 13B start to get real toasty, like, after 450. So, like, if I can make 440 to 450 ish, 440, I'd be happy with 440. 40 more horsepower. I hope it feels fast. It's going to feel fast. My perception of speed is done. Yeah, well, you, terrible. you got super fast. I can't even drive my beloved RX-8. I love that thing. <laughs> it just feels so slow. Forget the and the NB. Ugh. Anyhow, I digress, kids. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, like and subscribe our channel, and tell us what else you want to see done to this car. And we'll be rolling out. What are you looking at me like that for? Just something amazing to happen. My own brother. And we'll be diving into Matthew's white FD soon. Oh snap. Oh man, we're gonna I gotta, I gotta, I gotta come up with some money for that. FD bro, son. <laughs> Until next time. Maybe you know,